a little bit. <clears throat> So, so if you sit for a long period of time, they say it's really bad for you. Sure. And so, um, we're try we're trying to um, we're trying to stand up once an hour, stretch out to make sure none of our legs get atrophied while we have these long gaming sessions. I see. So, thank you for reminding me. I will set the timer again so we can stand up in another hour. <laughs> okay, let's say here. Do 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 do. Any chances you'll be playing until dawn? Keep doing what you're also keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, Baba Yaga Laga. What? I'm Baba Yaga Lala. I'm assuming you're only going to play for a few hours, right? Oh my so god! That was a joke because he said you're going to play until dawn. I said, I'm assuming you're only going to play for a few hours. You're not. <laughs> never mind. I, w I took you too literally, Jay, and I'm very, very <laughs> sorry. That was very funny. Thank you. You were very funny all the time. <laughs> okay, I've started the timer. Um until dawn. It's it's on our it's on our I do ha keep an official list of g all the games you guys have recommended to us to play and it is on our list. I know it's another one of those horror games which in general you know that Rich and I aren't he's super huge fans of so it's it's not really a priority but we will see about getting to that. Also Lloyd Beats uh oh sorry. Joshua Saucier. It's pronounced the real Veyon. I always... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, real Veyon. Also, please check out the game Ronin. On it, it's on the list already. Lloyd Beats, Jack, Jay Rich, have you ever seen the 16-minute short film World of Tomorrow by Don Hertzfeld? It's streamable no. on Netflix, and it's fantastic. Oh, it is. I like Don Hertzfeld a lot. Do, is, is Don Hertzfeld the guy that did the uh, animation? He does, yeah. He does, like, uh, oh, what's it called? He did the, the animation festival with, like, the, the circle, guy, or, like, the black and white drawings, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. love that. What's the name of the... My spoon is too big! That's the one, yeah. yeah. That's I can't think of the name of that one, but, I yeah, I like his stuff a lot. The animation festival shorts? But I have My not... Uh, spoon. I've seen there's a couple of his. It's I've seen that coming up on Netflix more recently, like short films. Yeah. I, like I saw that a couple of his are on there, and then there's some other ones I've seen too. Apparently, the world of tomorrow is on Netflix. Okay, I will check it out. We will all check it out because I I like that John Hertzfeld. <laughs> and anonymous would like to donate and said just wanted to donate because it's driving Rich a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Zang. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate you all. I this love is a problem you've created for yourself, though, Rich. I, I love the Don Hertzfeld, um, his, like, uh, his quote-unquote, like, commercials that never aired. Yeah, well, that's that's <laughs> the same as the My Spoon is Too Big, right? Yeah. Isn't that the same film? Well, it's not It's not one film. They, uh, him and um, uh, who's the guy that did uh, Beavis and Butthead? And Mike Judge. My, him and Mike Judge were making shorts for a animated short film festival. Right. And then they collected them into like one thing. And you can watch the whole DVD. It's a great DVD. Mm. That whole, it, but it's all just a series of, of like short animations. It has a name and I can't think of that collection of shorts and I cannot think of what it's called. I'm sure someone in the chat will point it out. Yeah, we noticed that. We said that one. Babble, Babble Gaga. These are, these are what your oh my gods are getting us. Oh, okay. Okay. Baba Gabba, Baba Gabba Laga. Yo Gabba Gabba. Someone in the in the chat, tell us what the name of that animation DVD Rejected, is called. Rejected, maybe. I just got an XCOM bloody nose, and that put me in a slightly foul mood. Okay. You got the, an XCOM bloody nose. I got an XCOM bloody nose. Yeah, I got my, got my ass kicked twice in a row. On this oh mission. sure, sure. Rejected. It is rejected. Okay, because it's rejected saying. commercials. That's the idea. Oh yeah. my god. Oh my god. Wasn't it called? Yeah, okay, rejected. Great. Rich, Overwatch won't trigger when enemies don't see you. Right. You need to shoot the one soldier to make them run for cover, leave the rest on Overwatch. I'm just trying to get them surrounded before I do anything. Yeah. I'm no. doing Overwatch out of habit, if, if nothing else. <laughs> Rich will get this. Rich will get this. Okay, let's see here. Trash can. Oh, oh. my god. <laughs> Trash Can Man, will Rich and Jack be playing Slappy 
and silly in the movie versions of the Care Bores. Also, do you guys have any plans for commentaries for the year? Uh, the live-action version of Care Bores is uh, undergoing pre-production right now, and we can't talk about the details. Uh, any any plans for future commentaries, Jay? Uh, not specific ones, but we want to do more. Oh they, we were just talking about that. My God! So there will be more, but no. Um, I mean, might I suggest uh, the Care Bores, <laughs> a commentary track for a web video. I there is one, or there was one, on the uh, RLM Archive DVD. Oh, yeah? It had a commentary track. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. And that's how you use Overwatch in concealment, bitch. <laughs> By throwing a grenade? Well, I put the I put two people in Overwatch while I was still in concealment. Yeah. Which won't trigger if the enemies move because they're in concealment, except I had someone else throw a grenade, so when oh everyone went to scatter, it triggered the Overwatches. <clears throat> That's incredibly clever, Rich. Thank you. You see, this is why Rich is very good at XCOM. <laughs> I would never think about something like that. Um, Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, no, we did not. That was Baba Laba Gaba, and we we uh, we mentioned the Baba Gaba, We mentioned that donation. Um, where are we? Ivan Mage. No. Numenatus, uh, donation, donating to the Pre-Rec Hearing Aid Fund. Thank you. Uh, do any of you guys know a second language, or is there one you wish you knew? Spanish would be really convenient. Cause mm. here's, here's the thing with Americans and other languages. Like, Americans usually only speak English. Yeah. Or, or unless, you're, unless you're, like, from out of the country. Yeah. Then you speak something else. It's because nobody in America lives in your country where anybody speaks anything other than English. Mm -hmm. You know? You don't need to learn French or, or German when, when you live in the Midwest. <laughs> also, if you go to France or Germany, they know English. Yeah. Because it's convenient because you have so many different languages mm -hmm. if, if everyone knows at least one. Yeah. But we don't, we don't, we're, we're such pricks that we're like, ah, we don't <laughs> It's not it. because we're pricks. It's a matter of necessity. We don't, <laughs> why would you bother learning a skill that you're never going to use? I could learn French. How often am I going to use it? Right. But Spanish, I do wish I knew yes. Spanish. Yes. I took three years of Spanish in high school, and I can't speak any Spanish. Really? The first year I had it, it was the teacher's last year teaching, uh -huh. so she didn't give a fuck. All we did was talk about South Park. Because that was like when South Park was kind of first started. <laughs> so she didn't care. She was on her way out. Uh -huh. The second year, it was the teacher's first year teaching ever. And she was a crazy person. Oh, no. So all she would do is talk about being obsessed with her ex-boyfriend and breaking into his house and hiding in his closet, <laughs> which she did. And then the third year, we had a teacher that tried to teach us Spanish, but we were too long gone at that point. Sure. We sure. just didn't care. So I, I could speak a little bit by the end of senior year, but I, that's all gone now. Sure. I would love I would love to have the high – like, if I, if I could go back to high school years – yeah. I would love to tell myself, like, you need to learn Spanish. Yeah, I think I had a, one semester where I learned, where I had a class teaching German, too. Mm -hmm. Sure. And I don't remember any of that. Sure. There, there are so many opportunities where I can interact with someone who speaks Spanish and very little English. Mm. And I would love to be able to communicate more efficiently with oh, those sure. people. And, you know, the, we have a large Spanish-speaking population in all of America. So it just wouldn't hurt in general. But, uh... So, may, you know what? Maybe maybe that I'll try out that... I hear that Rosetta Stone is pretty good. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll try to learn Spanish. Okay, uh, I, Vion Mage. Until Dawn, Deadly Premonition and D4 are games which Jay should watch with you guys. Well, now... That I keep hearing about this Deadly Premonitions. That's the one that people keep saying is like Twin That's Peaks, That's the Twin right? Peaks game. Yep. Okay. And now that Jay is no longer editing Space Cop, <laughs> <laughs> he might come around a bit more, but we have he's been working. Let the man work. <laughs> Ooh, do they have accents now? About fucking time. Did they not have accents? No. Oh, that's really funny. Uh, anonymous, thoughts on Gnaw, Food of the Gods of 2? Do you know that? Uh, I haven't seen it. I know of it. Oh, I think it was just recently released on Blu-ray. Oh, okay. But I have not seen it. Okay. Jay and others, have you seen Resolution from 2012? It's a horror-ish movie about a drug addict in some Indian reservation. Yes, Resolution is fucking great. So is their <laughs> follow-up movie, Spring. 
Oh. Resolution is like a way more clever, interesting version of Cabin in the Woods, where it kind of deconstructs uh, a lot of horror tropes. Cool. But it's a lot more uh, abstract in the way it does it. It's not so on the nose. <laughs> it's really, really good. Cool. Commander, we're running out of time here. If we don't and their follow-up movie, Spring, I rented it like the day it came out on, on VOD, just because mm -hmm. I knew it was the same guys that made Resolution. And then, bam, my friend Jeremy's in it. He's hey. like, I didn't even know he was in this. That's great. <laughs> so that was I think, neat. I think I figured out what I'm doing wrong, Jack. Hold on one moment, Rich. I want to get to that, but there's something I want to read here. Um, uh, Rich, can you give a shout out to Erica, Long Sh Shank's wife? Erica, yo! <laughs> <laughs> Erica is pregnant and is uh, feeling a little down and, would like a, and wanted a shout out. Hey, you have that kid. There we go. You you wait you wait until after they have the kid that have the depression, the postpartum depression. Yeah, that that helps. You're you're, you're early. You're early. The pre Maybe if you get it out of the way before you have the kid, then everything smooth. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, she's going because that's that how depression works, right? You can choose when you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. I'm sorry, Rich. So what is it that you were doing wrong <laughs> in the game? I'm supposed to just go stealth and concealment the whole way, aren't I? I'm just being dumb. I'm so used to XCOM one. There's no real stealth component. The ah. game wants me to use stealth to get to the thing. That's why even fighting and not doing a terrible job, why I haven't gotten to it. Uh, I, in, you, in Rookie, yeah. I, I fought. Well, you were playing Rookie. I, I played Rookie, but I used stealth to get right up next to him and then shot a whole bunch of bitches. Yeah. But, so, I don't know. I'm on the move. I don't know. Is I guess what I'm saying. Um, let's see here. What? You fucking idiot. Uh, you fucking idiot. What did he do? Hey, look at that. He missed that shot. He missed that guy? He missed that guy. Oh, that dick. Fucking idiot. What a dick. <laughs> um... There you go. Ooh, he dropped something. Ooh, he dropped a couple things. Um. Rich, you gotta be cool. Yep. Nerds are useless. I mean, he is he is wearing glasses, Rich. Your XCOM guy is a nerd wearing glasses, and you're you're concerned that he is not making his shots. <laughs> Lord Belmont, I'm waiting until Jay comes back to read your comment because I know it's a question for him. Oh my God! Whoop! Whoopsie! Um, Jay, yes. You have a question from Lord Belmont. Are you going to start collecting 4K Blu-rays? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't have a 4K TV. I can't imagine the resolution oh is that much greater where it's worth God. it. <laughs> but it, it's pretty early in the technology, so I'm not going to say one way or the other. But, sure. I mean, VHS to DVD, that was a pretty big leap in uh -huh. picture quality. And then DVD to Blu-ray is a little bit of a leap. Like, it wasn't drastic. It wasn't like VHS to DVD was. Yeah. So now Blu-ray to 4K? Like, I don't know, man. Oh, It'll be an, a slightly God. smaller leap even still. Yeah, yeah, there's only so much you can perceive with your eyes. <laughs> As everyone here in the gaming stream knows, our eyes only see at 30 frames a second anyway. Mm. So 60 frames per second is useless. 4K is useless. <laughs> um, also, are you aware about the problem... Digitally shot movies under 4K like the Avengers will have. They shot themselves in the foot with digital over film. I'm not aware of any 4K digital problems. Or I, I, I know, was it Attack of the Clones that had some issue mm -hmm. with know. either what the movie was shot on or what they rendered out all the visual effects with? Something like that. Uh -huh. Where it was like lesser resolution than the rest of the movie. It's something weird. I don't sure. remember the details of it. Yeah, guys, I was being I was being facetious, of course. 
non there's a you know PC gaming does a lot of 60 frames a second gaming yeah which makes the gameplay a lot smoother and it makes uh, reaction time a lot smoother and uh, a lot of consoles can't get 60 frames a second they only have the same games at 30 frames a second okay and so console gamers whine often and say but the eye can only see at 30 frames a second mm. so it doesn't even matter which is a joke <laughs> do they all talk like Kermit? they, they all weird. talk like Kermit the frog <laughs> Or Lionel from Porka Pork. I'll never understand gamers. It's one of my favorite voices. Long shakes. You're welcome for the shout out. And uh, Texicolin, on the subject of accents, does it seem like actresses are better at hiding their accents than actors these days? It's just one of those things I've noticed in recent films. Mm. And I, you know, if... I don't think I've noticed that. No, like, you know, think about, like, someone like... <coughs> like Hugh Laurie. Oh, yeah. I didn't know he was British. <laughs> <laughs> until, like, the third season he, of he, House, he I saw an interview with him. He a good accent, yeah. He's a good American accent. Um, or, uh, oh, who was it in, in season one of Fargo? He's very British. What's his name? Oh, Martin Freeman? Martin Freeman. Yeah. And he's Fargo. He's 100% Fargo. <laughs> he's Fargo. He's what? <laughs> That's his name. He played the titular character. No, he's not Fargo. He's Frodo. He's Frodo Fargo. <laughs> Fro <laughs> <laughs> Christian Bale is another one. Really yeah. great at hiding his accent. I think, I think, uh, just good actors are good at that. <laughs> There are some really good actors, though, that have, have trouble sometimes with the accent. <laughs> sometimes it comes and goes. Right. I'm trying to think of an example, but I can't. No, the top no, of my head. no! Rich messed up again. I've been watching, uh, Netflix just added the third season of Bates Motel. So oh, I've been okay. watching that, and the, the, the dude playing Norman Bates on that, he's mm. English. And mm. there's a couple, few times throughout that show where it slips a little bit. <laughs> especially when he's angry, when he's yelling, it kind of slips out. Oh. Oh, that's right, Daredevil. The actor who plays uh, Matt Murdock in Daredevil is Irish. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And he, you, you wouldn't be able to tell that. My favorite actor with, uh, with an accent that he is unable to hide is Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> it's one of because you know like, like Arnold Schwarzenegger just is the Schwarzenegger. He's Arnold Schwarzenegger. But then like he'll play these roles like when in Kindergarten Cop, right? Well, he doesn't try and hide the accent. He never though. tries to hide the accent, but he's always like he's an American be a guy. Cop. Yeah, and no one ever questions why this like <laughs> Austrian muscle bag is an American cop. Yeah, I I I loved that, and it was never questioned. <laughs> and even the audience members never questioned it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's Arnold. Arnold's one of a kind. One there, of a kind. Will never be another uh, famous person quite like him. <laughs> a movie star like him. No, never. There will never be another Schwarzenegger. And I think only in the 80s could something like that happen. Could someone like that rise to that level of fame? Maybe. When they're so weird. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the weirdness that made it happen. Oh, I know. I understand. <laughs> it's great. I'm glad it happened. <laughs> oh, man. He's my favorite. Is that true? Finn, uh, uh, Finn the Black Stormtrooper, is British. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, John Boyega. Everybody's British. John Boyega. Everybody's British. <laughs> Everybody's British. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger is coming. I love that. If you guys have ever seen... Oh, the, from Pumping Iron? From Pumping Iron. <laughs> great documentary, by the way. Watch I've never Pum watched the whole thing. Oh, my God. It's. I mean, it's great. Arnold Schwarzenegger goes on this rant about how weightlifting and exercising is very similar to having sex. And how when when I pump the weights, it's, it's like I'm coming. It's like I'm I'm lifting up the weights, and it's like I'm coming all over the place. Oh I'm coming in the gym. God. I'm coming at home. <laughs> It's gr it's great because he he doesn't mean it in a creepy way, but it comes <laughs> off. <laughs> I love Arnold so much. Yep. Um, Tinti nine nine nine. No matter what your feelings are about the Oscars, who are your best picture prediction noms? What? Oh, noms are who? What? What's your best picture prediction, Jay? Do you, uh, if you have as any. far as what I, I would. 
I mean, I don't care too much, but <laughs> as far as what I would like to see win, yeah. Uh, uh, Mad Max, just because it would be so different. Of course. And and that would be kind of neat to see, because it's rare for any sort of genre movie to get any nominations, let alone, like, what does it have, 10 or something like that? Yeah, oh yeah. The last I time know. I can think of something like Return of the King. Oh you know, that one. Best picture. Yeah, but of course, that was collecting that all was, the nominations from all of the movies. Right, yeah. right. It was like a final payoff for <laughs> that whole experience of putting that thing together. Right. So just just for the sake of yeah something different, I would love for Mad Max to win. Sure. But what do you think is going to win? Probably the Revenant. Yeah. Because Leonardo DiCaprio eats a raw fish. Sure. So it wins. Because it was very it was very easy to movie to make. Because <laughs> I mean I know they they were there was no problem shooting that at all. No, very no, easy movie it, to make. It was, it's a very lazy film. Yeah, very lazy film. <laughs> <laughs> I would love Mad Max to win as well, just because it was a great fucking movie. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I, I mean, also, just nobody should care about the Oscars, ever. <laughs> it's because the only... I, I always watch it. Every year I, I go to a friend's house. It's kind of become a tradition. Yeah. A group of us watch it. Mainly just, I don't know, because it's something to watch. Sure. I, I never really am invested in what wins or anything. <laughs> I'm always just waiting for the awkward moments. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best when something goes wrong or someone sure. gives a really awkward speech. Mm. It's 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 a, a a group of awards voted on by only oh, people who are fuck. already in the industry. Yeah, it's it, a circle jerk. It will, it, but it's it's also like an incredibly unbalanced circle jerk. Yeah, where the you know directors vote on best director. So these are people who are already entrenched in the business, talking about who's the best in the business. Yeah. You know? There's no objectivity. There's, it's I, I, I think it's useless. I I'll, I'll agree that sometimes there's funny bits, mm -hmm. and sometimes people talk when the music plays, and that's fun to watch on YouTube the next day. <laughs> <laughs> and occasionally you get gold like like uh, John Travolta touching that one singer's face in a really creepy way for a long period of time <laughs> and mispronouncing uh yeah. well that was the year before is he mispronounced her name yep and then so the next year they brought him up on stage ah this will be funny they'll be on stage together yep. and then he just creepily touched her face for like 10 minutes yep that's yep. why i watch the oscars for stuff like that <laughs> for body horror people embarrassing themselves <laughs> uh clover vibe here's a two dollar question what actors would you like to be in an average RLM film? Oh, well, wait, sorry. What actors would you like to be in an RLM film either embarrass themselves or get the most out of them? Oh, what, so name some actors that you would love to work with in a film that you are making, an, an, an RLM film that we are making here in Wisconsin. Oh, man. That either you would like to see them embarrass themselves or get the most out of them. Themselves. <laughs> uh, bleh. As a director, who do you think you could work with? Oh my god, I don't even know. I think that's an interesting question. It's such a different world. <laughs> that, that Hollywood world and yeah. productions like that and mm -hmm. the weird stuff we do. Um, yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, I'd have to think about it. He's, he's really thinking. You can't see him right now, but he's, <laughs> he's busting a noggin. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's an interesting question. Obviously, I think it would have to be someone who'd be willing just to go full... I mean, full frontal, obviously. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, like someone who's also just willing to commit to, like, not only whatever material you're going to give them, but, like, shooting in Wisconsin where we don't have yeah. catering. We don't. You know, I, I guess I'd have to say people that we have worked with. Like Patton Oswalt, mm -hmm. like, he gets it. Yeah. You know, or like Tim Heidecker, he got it. Mm -hmm. people, it would have to be sort of, like, slightly fringe ish people. Mm hmm. I mean, you know, Pat Oswalt's super successful, but, oh sure. but the people that kind of understand more fringe, you know, sure. material. People who might still remember what it's like uh, on this side of the world. Yeah. 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 That's, uh, that's well put. Uh, Tabori HK wants uh, to let you know something, Rich. Yeah, what? You can do this. And they believe in you. I don't know why. They, <laughs> they believe in you. Um, <laughs> you're right, Anonymous. Anonymous would like us to know that Rich's present day accent kept slipping out in Space Cop. <laughs> Rich did did not do good accent work <laughs> in Space Cop. <laughs> 
Um, Gruff McMilitary. Hello, gents. Another great stream. I agree with Jay regarding Mad Max for the Oscars, but I still think Space Cop should have been nominated for Best Screenplay. <laughs> As it did take 12 years to make. But Space Cop came out this year. Yeah. So it'll be nominated for next year's Oscar. It, it will definitely be nominated. Absolutely. If it's not nominated, I will be shocked <laughs> and surprised. For at least something. I mean, best sound editing, I'm sure. It'll get a technical I, award. I can't get far away enough to reload. This is kind of bullshit. On my way. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll just die next turn. I don't give a shit anymore. Yeah. You know what? Uh, Ivan Lee Stream uh, is just mentioning uh, John Hamm. John Hamm is. Oh an, yeah, he's willing to make a fool of himself. He will do anything and, and he's commit really fully. funny. Yeah, he's great on the Wet Hot American Summer show. Yes, I guess I would say that any of those people, anyone associated <laughs> with anyone yep. related to Wet Hot American Summer, or yep. the state, I, I I could work with them. I'm sure. Oh yeah. What? What happened? Did we freeze? Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. That was very... The, it blew up the game a little bit. You can reload and shoot in one turn if you don't move. Oh, really? That's what Too Much Nuki is saying. You know what? Conan O'Brien does like weird stuff, but as an actor, I don't think he's quite there. <laughs> uh, Has he ever acted in anything? Aside from, like, skits for the show and stuff? I don't think, but so, no. I don't think he's ever done, like, an acting yeah. role, has he? No, I don't think so. You know what? Fuck it. I'm dead. Ugh. <laughs> uh, Jay, other than Roar, did you have any Roar. other favorites from B-Fest? Uh, oh, man. You guys could not <coughs> shut up about how about Roar. Roar is the most the amazing thing, <laughs> and everyone should check it out right now. In Watch it with a group. B-Fest. Watch it with a group of people. Watch Roar. Um, everyone it's it's insanity. It it's, sounds amazing. It's insanity captured on film. Um... <laughs> Th- that oh overpowered everything this year. <laughs> there were some good ones though. The, it was the, the 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 highs were really high and the lows were like, why did they even bother playing this? Uh-huh. Like just boring oh old movies. God. But the Garbage Pail Kids movie was a highlight for me personally because <laughs> I had been wanting them to play that for years. Sure. So that was fun. It's and, it- and the Human Tornado, Rudy Ray Moore movie. The guy who plays Dolomite. Uh-huh. It is a Dolomite movie. That was pretty great too. Oh, great. Not the Heath Ledger TV show Roar. What, who's the actress in Roar? Uh, it's Tippi Hedren and uh, Melanie Griffith are in it. Yes. Old movie, an old passion project from Melanie Griffith's parents. Yes. Who were actually like her mom running and her stepfather. The Lion Conservatory. Right. And without, oh my God! without spoiling too much about Roar, things don't go well at the Lion Conservatory, and they're all real lions. They're all real lions, and they get writing credit on the movie, because so much of what happens in the movie was dictated by what the lions did. You never told me that. Yeah, The amazing. lions get a writer's credit. Yep. That's brilliant. It's, it's an amazing movie. That's brilliant. <laughs> Uh, I do not know if there is a confirmed release date for XCOM 2 on consoles. Space copped hard. The release date is who gives you shit. Who gives a shit. You can play it right now if you have a PC. Um, did I read yours, Major Tom Servo? Oh, I did. I'm so sorry, Major Tom Servo. Oh, well, Major Tom Servo, you didn't. I only read stuff if you donate $2 or more. But now you've donated enough with this new donation to tell me about your last donation. Oh, my God. We only read stuff if you donate $2 or more. That's our general rule. <laughs> okay. Everybody. Sorry if you did not know. Uh, but now you've donated enough. Uh, sorry to bombard Jay with questions. Uh, I want to be more well-versed in film. Can you recommend any books or whatever on film yeah. theory? Or is the key just to watch a fuck ton of movies? Yeah. On film theory? Yeah. I haven't read too many books on film theory. I've mainly read books on filmmaking. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, just watch a bunch of movies. Yeah, That's mainly what I think most of us that are into movies have done. And then you just try to figure out what the common thread in the movies that you like are and pick out the stuff that you don't like. And I used to be really interested in... I would watch it like when I was little, little. Mm-hmm. I'd watch movies on VHS and like pay attention to things like editing. Sure. 
Like, I very vividly remember watching, because we had a, a fancy VCR that could go frame by frame without the picture. You know, when you pause it, sometimes the picture sure. would be all jittery. Yeah, yeah. And it would be frame by frame and pretty smooth. And I would watch the scene in Home Alone when he takes the sled down the front stairs uh-huh. and goes out and lands in the in the front yard. <laughs> and I remember, I don't know why, I was fascinated by watching that scene frame by frame. And I would see, like, oh, in this shot that's inside the house where you see the front doorway is... His sled is halfway out the door, but then when it cuts to the exterior shot where you see it coming out the door, mm. it's it's back a little bit farther oh. and picking up on things like that. Sure. So I learned about editing from Home Alone. <laughs> Don't ever mock Home Alone. It's a brilliant movie. <laughs> I rewatched it again this last uh, Christmas. Yeah. I haven't seen it in a long time. It's still a cute movie. It's still a cute movie. Even Home Alone 2 Lost in New York oh, has, that movie its, sucks. has its charms. Nope. There's a lady with that, birds. It's it's the guy from the first movie. It's the exact same movie. <laughs> that is one of the most cynical sequels. <laughs> That's where John Hughes really quit trying. Yep. Oh, man. Uh, yep. Um, Why do I have to try? They give me money. Well, that's what happened. He did Home Alone. Like, because he did a bunch oh, of charming movies before that. Then it, Home Alone. Then it was nothing but kitty garbage. Yeah. Got it. Um, let's see here. Where was I? Where was I? Uh, Anonymous, you got this oh rich. Oh my god! Dick punch your way to glory. Run faster, ambush further, and shoot harder. Also, LOL, fuck your cock. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Um, Zikol. Zikol. Oh have. Also, the the other reason why it's very loud for us is uh, Rich wanted the TV up more so he could experience all of XCOM. And so it's a little bit louder oh. for us than it normally is. Oh, is that, oh my God, coming through the TV? Yeah, because oh, it's, it's coming through, through the computer. computer right. So okay. it comes through the TV. Uh, says, uh, wants to know, have Mike and John Hamm ever met? That's affirmative. I don't believe there is a situation where that would uh, have yes. occurred. Yes. I guess it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't tell us, though, and I think he would. I, I think would think so. I think he would tell that story. Um, what a weird question. Good guy. Also, Rich. Also, Rich, face it. We will all love you, even if you step the difficulty down a notch. Rich is learning the game, and you know this is part of the reason why Rich doesn't like to stream new games is because there is a learning curve, and sometimes that learning curve involves failure. Oh my God! And so you're going to sit what? here and you're going to watch Rich play this sure, one shit. mission over and over and over again while Jay and I gibber about nonsense and you're going <laughs> to like it. Um, Anonymous, sorry about that. I didn't know about the $2 minimum. Now there's my $2. Are the Plinket reviews dead? Uh, maybe you don't know about this and Jay, I don't want to step out of turn. Oh, go ahead. But uh, why don't you check the old YouTube subscription box tomorrow? Because there is a very some, something very special coming out tomorrow. <laughs> and if you don't know that joke, I am. <laughs> don't don't expect anything. No, uh, no comment. Well, the short answer is no. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> I say the long answer is no. Oh. So either way. No, they're not dead. Is there a medium answer? No. Although they bear some resemblance. <laughs> you nailed it, Jay. <laughs> Thank you. You nailed it. Um. <laughs> what? Uh, Chinti999, any use for SVHS players? What are SVHS players, Jay? Uh, isn't SVHS the, the smaller tape that you had to put into the adapter? Thing to put into the VCR? Oh, maybe. My work has about 40 of them, and we are throwing out slash recycling them. I can't imagine we would need any well, I, of those. Yeah, not SVHS. If, if those are the... the oh, no, the VHS-C is what I'm thinking of. But no, we don't have any use for SVHS either. Whatever it is. <laughs> your, oh, my God. Your, your soldiers can flip out. That's great. And not listen to your commands because they're so <laughs> scared about the aliens. Ah. Hold on. I'm going to look up what an SVHS player is. Google. Excuse me. Google. Oh, it's a super VHS player. I, yeah. I want to say it's just supposed to be like a higher quality of VHS, which is a joke in and of itself. <laughs> 
Um, I mean, we have plenty of VHS players here. So I would say no. But thank you for the offer. That and it would be expensive to ship. Yeah, it would be. But Those things you. are heavy. Yeah. Rich, the chat believes in you. I'm seeing all sorts of moral support for you in this mission. You can do it. They all believe in you. We know you're trying your best. Don't let us down. Morel support? Like morel mushrooms? Which we recently learned a whole lot about. <laughs> yep. That's all you're going to give them. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I approve. <laughs> <laughs> we are now experts on morel mushrooms. Mm -hmm, absolutely. I do kind of want to go uh, check them out. <laughs> Uh, I recently we I went out to eat yesterday and I had some amazing mac and cheese and inside the mac and cheese was boar bacon oh bacon made from a boar okay and oh, I thought it was bacon that was boring it was boring oh bacon my God. bacon the only the only kind of bacon that can be boring is turkey bacon. I like turkey bacon. You it's shut, better for you. Shut your damn mouth. It's, it's better for you and it's tasty. It's fake and it, it mocks everything bacon stands for. <laughs> A boar bacon though is so delicious. Yeah. I might have problems eating regular bacon again. Oh my god. It was so and it might have just been the way they cooked it. Sure. It was so good. Okay. It was so good. Both I've never Lisa eaten boar, so I have no idea what any part of the boar tastes like. <laughs> we had to save a little piece of bacon to end the meal with. <laughs> like each of us were just like, I'm gonna leave this piece of bacon here, so this was the last flavor in my mouth. Oh, that's, that's how good I... it was. Huh. Boar bacon. Boar bacon. Heads up, everybody. Um Fuck. Um Have we seen the series Every Frame a Painting? The real Veon wants to know. I've seen a couple episodes of it's a YouTube series. I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. I've seen a couple episodes. I he, they did a he did one on the comedy editing of Edgar Wright, mm. which I was really interested to watch, and I just disagreed with a lot of his commentary on it. Oh, okay. So it was just you know, uh, but I I've seen a couple other ones that I thought were very good. Mm. Every frame of painting. Also. Um, also, the real van wants to know if Rich cut his feet while filming the witness ending. Well, <laughs> again, that was gameplay oh footage. Oh, my God! So uh, that wasn't Rich. So obviously Rich didn't cut his feet, but I can only assume that the uh, whoever that was in the gameplay footage uh, did not cut their feet because they walked very carefully. <laughs> That's probably a good <laughs> That's a, my a assumption. Good assumption, yeah. That's my assumption that, yes, that was real glass... And that actor was barefoot, but they walked very carefully. <laughs> um, because movie. Wait, I missed because movie. There's just too you guys are too many donations. Oh um, my god! Oh no, that was because movie's question. Okay. Wanted to know if Rich cut his feet again. Gameplay footage, so not Rich. I'm but just fucked. This game is, has my number. Uh, you might need to notch down the difficulty until you, <sighs> until you figure it out. Uh, <laughs> uh, my name is Tate. Says Rich. Have you tried turning your hat backwards yet? Because <laughs> maybe that'll give you the intensity that you need. That's and, uh, that's when you mean business. That's you when you mean that. business. That's when it's getting real. Yeah. That's when uh, that's when Ash starts the Pokemon battle. He always turns his hat backwards so he can concentrate. Uh, also, Jay is right. Turkey bacon is delicious, and you can eat way more of it. You both are lying to yourselves. <laughs> Turkey bacon is nothing but a mockery of something beautiful and delicious. But it's also better for you. Then just don't eat bacon. It's better to not eat bacon than to eat turkey bacon. That's insane. Don't lie to yourself with the subpar salted meat. I enjoy the taste of turkey bacon. Liars. <laughs> okay, Jack, please tell Rich this mission is part of the tutorial and he needs to restart and disable the tutorial. Well, if I can't beat the fucking tutorial, there's problems. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and agree with Rich on this one. Turkey bacon is still ridiculously high in sodium. 
Oh, sure. I'm not saying it's great for you. It's just better for you than regular bacon. Yeah. Bad Milo, um, you know. Yes, good job to who, whomever stacked those glasses in the witness video. It certainly was not us, as that was captured gameplay footage. But whomever stacked those glasses must have been very fast and talented and probably handsome. Uh, That's God. what I can only assume. All right, well, I don't, it's not letting me change the difficulty. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that because you're in the middle of the game or yeah. something? So you're, are you just exiting? That's I'm going okay, to the Rich. bathroom. Rich is going to the bathroom. Rich, oh, nope. I'll uh, I'll oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's throwing a fit. Oh, my God. Uh, Jay is... He's gone mad, folks. Jay's not scared of the camera. Um, it, it actually just put kind of be a pain in the ass for us to move the camera. Oh, my God. Um, I actually know I am scared of the camera. That's you, why you've never ever seen me on camera ever I, before. I know you're notoriously camera shy. <laughs> I've never been on camera. You've no one knows what my camera. face looks like. <laughs> Packard, are you finally going to answer this? Who cleans the bathroom at RLM Studio? Nobody. No. Nobody has ever cleaned it. Nope. It's in bad shape. I make a special point to go before I come here. That's a good idea. And I hold it for as long as I can, hoping I can get back home. If not, I, I, <coughs> it's actually more sanitary for me to just go out to the dumpster. Oh, sure. Behind the I studio. Would, I would believe that. Absolutely. So. Oh, my <laughs> God! <laughs> uh, of, of filmmaker freak. What This is my third tip to the stream, sending $1, not doing the $2 cut. Very sorry, filmmaker freak. Um... Take your four dollars. Oh well, hold on, filmmaker freak. If this now makes up for it all, here's your dollar, you hack frog. Sorry, I didn't know you made it a dollar earlier. Oh Let me go back. Let me go back. Oh my <laughs> God! Filmmaker freak, where are you? Have Rich read this. I will have Rich read your "Oh my God" when he comes back after being so sorely disappointed. Oh, this is you know, in XCOM one, Rich has close to one thousand hours. Oh my God! And he, it's one of his favorite games. And then he sucks at this one. And he sucks. And he, and he well, I think it's his ego. He um, thought he could just waltz in here. Oh, sure, like, oh, sure. Oh, waving his dick around. I know what I'm doing. No, the aliens took his dick. Well, maybe this will humble him a bit. Yeah, he needs he needs to be taken down a peg, that Rich Evans. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shadix20. Hey, guys. I'm fresh out of high school and trying like hell to get into filmmaking. Any tips for the lowliest of directors? Uh, also, Rich, maybe play something else um, until you've gotten your XCOM 2 skills. This is what we're playing tonight. <laughs> I'm going to start with probably a tip that you've heard before for directing. And it's going to seem like a dumb tip. But just start making things. Film a ton of shit. And, then and don't post it on YouTube because 99% of it will be unwatchable. Unwatchable garbage. Yes. I'm so glad. I was talking with someone about this recently. <laughs> I'm so glad that when I was like learning and making stuff mm -hmm. post high school yep. that YouTube wasn't a thing that existed because hmm. otherwise that shit's out there forever. Yep. And it shouldn't be. And it shouldn't There's be. There's so much old embarrassing crap. But make it. You have make to make it. it and finish it and show it to maybe some friends. Yes. Maybe the people the who more, help you The make more it. you make, the more you learn. Yep. And that, that's literally all. Yeah. Never stop making it. And then just keep doing it until it becomes uh, your life and you're ruined forever. <laughs> and you're a sad, upset person. <laughs> Actually, Rich, could you leave the door open a little bit? Sure. It gets a little warm in here. Yeah. It gets a little, you know, we've got lights, we got the TV, a lot of uh, computer, we got yeah, heat, it's... <laughs> I just flat out turn the heat down too. Or, or you could do that. I don't, you know, but that it adds a little more light in here, which we kind of need. Um, Jay, can you? When are you going to make the next horse vomit? <laughs> <laughs> horse vomit got flagged on my YouTube channel the first time I uploaded it. Yeah. I don't know why someone flagged it, and then I re-uploaded <laughs> it like two years later. Horse, horse vomit. I will never make something as good as horse vomit ever again. So. I, I don't. I that's, don't want to say that. That's my high point. But I, I kind of agree with you. <laughs> 
It's also a fantasy movie because horses can't vomit, apparently. Oh, yeah. I learned. That's right. We learned. Yeah. That's what we learned. But no, you know, if you want to be a director, you want to be an editor, just start doing it because all the technology is there. You have, if you have a cell phone and a computer. Yeah, it's easier now than it was when I was learning to do this garbage. You can make anything you want. Believe in yourself. <clears throat> dick punch dick punch the fuck out of directing. <laughs> so what am I doing wrong? I don't... I mean, maybe try stepping it down a difficulty level. Well, uh, what's the next step down? Rookie or, like, you're on veteran. I don't know. I was on commander. You were on commander? Yeah, go to veteran and just... You know, because you this game is probably a little bit different tactic-wise than the original XCOM, and you just got to learn it. Disable tutorials. Okay, uh, Telegon Jay, what is your opinion on the original Wicker Man? Uh, you know, I've never seen it. That's one that's been on my to see list forever, and I've just never seen it. And what do you find more worthwhile watching, the original or the remake? But he's never I have never seen the original. I've seen the remake, and it has funny moments, but I don't mm. quite understand its reputation. Oh my God! The so bad it's good reputation. Yeah, it has it has some good moments, but I've only seen it once, and I just remember being incredibly bored throughout mm. a lot of it. Yeah, and I, then there'll be like an amazing what the fuck moment, mm. and then some more boredom and tedium. I think everyone just remembers that that last Nick Cage scene, and they're just like, oh. Yeah. Well, everyone remembers not the bees, not the bees, which yeah. isn't even in the movie. Apparently that's a deleted scene. Isn't it in the movie? I, from what I understand, oh. it's not in the movie. Well, it's been a while. Oh, well, like, but there's two different cuts of the movie, so maybe it's in one and not the oh, other, or sure. something like. I don't know. Anonymous uh, would like to send some power your way, Rich. Don't use crocodile bear brain. Follow incense, like lion brain. <laughs> this is it. This is the mission I died on. Position confirmed. Uh. When I did this mission, uh, when I was playing this weekend, uh, all my team got killed, and I was on rookie. I was on the oh. easiest difficulty, but I have no concept of tactics. So this is not the game for you. It's not the, well. I'm trying to get there. <laughs> I know so many people love these games. Yeah, these are these are high up on many people's lists. This and, and XCOM and even the originals, the old old PC games are really high up on people's list. So I want to I wanna like it, and I love aliens, and I love the idea of just shooting aliens. Oh, I want to shoot the fuck out of aliens. <laughs> so I want to be there. I want to be good. Uh, I didn't read your first tip. I was asking if whoever did the video was trying to go the Leonardo DiCaprio route and get... Oh, you're right. Well, whoever acted in that video might have been try uh, trying to capture the Leo route of stepping on broken glass. Oh! You're right. Oh my god! Um, Heading to that location. Too much Nuki. I'm pretty sure Rich understands base management. Uh, so by skipping the tutorials, you also skip the tutorials on managing your base. But we'll I'm, figure it out. I'm going to say that Rich has enough XCOM knowledge to figure that out. Oh, also, Rich, uh, someone uh, who tipped us would like you uh, to say, uh, what was it? Oh my god! Yep, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Ivan Lee streams. Here's an XCOM 2 tip for Rich. Get good. No, but he tipped saying that. Thank you, Ivan Lee streams, for tipping with the tip. That Rich should kick. Uh, what was the tip? Was it $2? Oh, two dollars. $2. I'm sorry. So I made gets, a mistake. He gets $2 Here. worth. Here's your $2 worth. <laughs> All good things. <laughs> Everything's good. <laughs> Everything's good, like all the time, forever. I have my little Moving your Perrier, oh my Perrier, my which will God. show up really fun on the green screen. The no. My Perrier. I like carbonated water. I, I don't know. Understand? I don't understand why so many people give it so much shit. I, it's fine. It's just fun to make fun of because it sounds like like a fancy boy drink. You, I mean, usually a drink I'll get, for little fancy lads. It's a, it's a fancy boy drink. It's <laughs> carbonated water. It, it fills that beer urge for me. Not as good as beer does. Mm. 
Oh, sorry, Len Flakosinski. Uh, Jay, have you seen the movies Brooklyn or Room? No, I haven't seen either yet. I want to see Room. I've heard nothing but great things about it. Yeah? I, I haven't heard of either. They're both uh, Oscar nominees. Yeah, but I don't care about the Oscars. So but, so if they're Oscar nominees, that means they played one weekend in L.A. and not anywhere no, else. No, they, I mean, they have a decent release. They're not, you know, huge movies, but they're supposed to be really good, but I haven't seen them. Oh, okay. There you go. Sorry, Len. I'm trying to keep up with the chat and with everything. <laughs> It's all right, guy. I see that you were getting to Len here. I will. I'm trying. I'm trying to. You know. I'm also trying to look at people while I'm having conversations. There's, there's, a, there's a lot happening, there's, and I'm trying to drink my Perrier. <laughs> this is Perrier is not going to drink itself. If it does, that'd be weird. <laughs> mm. Oh, they're they're also saying Brooklyn is fantastic. That's what I hear. Soyer Ronan. So Yaris Ronan is I, a great I've never actress. known how to pronounce her name. Say your eyes. <laughs> oh, uh, what was the movie like Cabin in the Woods that you were talking about earlier? Uh, Resolution. Resolution from 2012, I want to Just, say. Yeah, Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead are the name of the directors. Okay. And they're they're pretty great. Resolution is a more <laughs> subtle Cabin in the Woods. Yeah. It doesn't have a lot of similarities to Cabin in the Woods. It's just it takes place at a, at a dumpy place in the woods, mm -hmm. and it deconstructs horror movies. Okay. That's pretty much where the similarities end. Okay. But it's, it's yeah, well, it's you... really clever and really well done. Are you shitting me? There we go. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> it's pronounced Sarsha. Sarsha? Sarsha. Or Sersha. Someone is saying it's pronounced Sarsha. Someone is saying it's pronounced Sersha. I'm just going to do my best to avoid ever having her name come up in conversation so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> That's really the smart call. I think I've only ever seen her in one movie. I know she's in Grand Budapest Hotel. Jay, the only winning move is not to play. <laughs> it's true. When pronouncing Sarsha's name. Jay Bauman is not the only man who looks better with a beard. A lot of men look better with a beard. Unlike, say, me. <laughs> Does not look better with a beard. <laughs> I like your beard. Then why do you keep the beard? I don't know. I'm too lazy to shave. That's why I grew the beard. <laughs> there you go. There you go. No, I think, you know, different... As, as long as the, the really important part, if you are growing a beard is your mustache needs to actually connect to <laughs> your lower facial hair. There are people who, like, grow beards. Oh, sure. And they have their mus mustache in a space. Yeah. And then they're lower, and then the, that never looks good. I'm looking at you, Johnny Depp. Oh, my Johnny Depp has God. that, and I think it looks terrible. Does he have that? I've never really paid much attention to his facial hair. <laughs> I know Keanu Reeves has, like, the weirdest, patchiest beard I've ever seen. Yeah. it was. It's a little distracting sometimes. Yeah. Why doesn't Jack grow his beard on the t I, my my wife does not like my beard. Ah. I liked my beard, but I I don't like it that much to have, you know. Also, a beard with a shaved head is a very specific look. Some people can pull it off. Very specific look. Uh, Rich, Jack, Jay, Clore Vibe. What are the games slash films, if you must, you are most embarrassed to admit you loved? First of all, um, I'm not, any movie that I loved, even if you guys think it sucks, I'm not embarrassed. I fucking love it, and I don't care. Uh, face Off. I fucking love There's Face Off. There's lots of people that love Like, people, like, everybody knows what it is. Yeah. I've never seen it. But. Oh, my God. I fucking love Face Off. <laughs> it is cheesy as hell, way over the top, but I fucking love it. <laughs> so that's on my list mm. of, of things I should be embarrassed by, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you there, there really shouldn't be a thing as guilty pleasures. Like if you enjoy something, yeah, for whatever reason, just enjoy it. Absolutely. I want to take his face off. Oh my god, I, I gotta go watch Face Off tonight. I've never seen it. You've never seen it? Nope. Oh my god. Did you see any of those like cheesy woo films? I no, I'm not a big John Woo woo guy. The the American woo, if you will. The American woo. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of his stuff. <laughs> 
Do you have what what what's on your list of stuff that other people might not enjoy but you oh love? Oh god. My so half of the things I watch. <laughs> so many things. I watch so much so many like B movies and weird shit. Mm-hmm. I really like Inland Empire, the David Lynch movie, and that's one that even people that really like David Lynch are like, I'm out. <laughs> but I think it's I think it's an interesting movie. Uh-huh. Especially when you keep in mind the process of making it. Of how it was put together over such a long period of time and Okay. Him sort of experimenting through the process of making it. And Laura Dern's just great in it. <laughs> well that's all you need. And she's on the new Twin Peaks. She's gonna be on the new Twin Peaks. Every great actress ever is on the new Twin Peaks. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, Zekol, uh, we we could probably take a little break and read subscriptions if you need to go to bed. <laughs> Let me just read his now. Oh Fuck it. my god! I don't have subscriptions up on my. Well, he's probably worried about his name. His or her well, I, well, that's why I said Zicole. Zicole, thank you for subscribing. If you subscribed, we really do Zicole, appreciate Zicole, thank you for maybe or maybe not subscribing. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I'm going to say your name because apparently that will make you happy. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate it. We just appreciate you coming by. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Kays87, this tip uh, is towards the Oculus Rift HTC Vive fund. I can't wait to see you guys flailing around like jackasses <laughs> with headsets on. Are you look for are you looking forward to VR or do you think it's just a gimmick? Just a gimmick. I have no plans on getting a VR headset. I remember when that was going to be the big thing in like 1995? Why is it coming back again? Because the technology is finally there <laughs> where people can do something with it. Okay. But no, I'm not. I don't care about it. I I just don't care about it. Mm. I We will probably get one eventually just so you can see us be jackasses. Is it a, a like a console or is it something that will be... Like you use with an existing console. It's something that you will use with your existing PC. Okay. Um, there I are I don't know a whole lot about console it, so. versions. Sony is making one for the PlayStation. Okay. But it's something that you have to use with existing technology. But like in a game world where the 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 3D environment is already fully rendered. Yeah. The idea is you know of free movement, looking around. Right. Motion sickness like you've never known it before. <laughs> Honestly, I will get sick. And puke. Does and it, that's what you guys well, want. That would be good on the will, stream. Will later models come with like an attached barf bag? <laughs> <laughs> Buy now and get eight free Occubags. Ooh, Occubags. I like it. I like it. No, I don't. I just don't care. I know. Like I've been seeing a lot. The big clickbait video right now is people trying out VR porn. Oh, sure. And, you know, like, everyone's like, it's so intense, it's so amazing. But VR porn doesn't, you can't get the full 360 movement because it's a video It's a video feed. So people yeah. are like, you know, if you move closer, move further away, the video stays at the same distance. But okay. they're like, it's still so real and so intense. And it's just like, there's already porn. You don't need this. <laughs> People aren't going to buy a $500 device just to watch porn <laughs> when they get the J.C. Penney's catalog for free. <laughs> so, you know? <laughs> going to give all your people goofy helmets? Yeah, not all of them. I'm just playing. I'm saying what you can do. Oh, sure. There's apparently some promotions available. Uh, the chat is saying. Um, Explain. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Jay, I worked with Aaron Moorhead oh. on the VFX of his other films, his segment in VHS Viral and Spring. Oh, I love Spring. There you go. This VHS is Viral, not so much, but, <laughs> but Spring is really, really good. <laughs> this is Filmmaker Freak. I met him uh, during post on Resolution. Okay. Crazy you mentioned this right now, Small World. Yeah. Well, there you go. They make good films, and I hope they make more <laughs> that aren't associated with the VHS franchise. Oh. Because those aren't that good. Oh. <laughs> uh, Runby. Rich did it. 
Please, don't use this for the Oculus Rift Fund. We won't run, B. We won't. We won't. We run for my fund. <laughs> Jack talk. Jack talk many times. <laughs> Sarah Douglas, that's an actress. Oh, yeah? She was in Superman 2. She's one of Zod's people. So the female Zod people? Yeah. Oh. Well, then you need to make her white. You need to make her a Kryptonian. <laughs> It's oh weird, though. Oh, my God! All, all of the customization options, they still don't let you customize uh, gender or yeah, they do. nationality. Yeah, yeah, sure they do. Where? Um, character info. Gender nationality. Huh! <laughs> well, I finally did that. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> did they not do that on the previous version? No. Is uh, Kryptonian available for nationality? <laughs> Look at that other lady's hair. Or not. What are the... Oh. Go back to the hair. Whoa! No. Look at that! That hair exists as a, a reference to the classic original XCOM. Oh, yeah? Because the graphics were so bad? Uh, yeah. Mm. Well, there was only, like, two or three different, like, customization mm. options. <laughs> sure. And I think a lot of them had that, that goofy hair. Oh, sure. Uh, Space Cop Dog Hard says, Jack, I've got to go. This stream is only making me sad that this game isn't on console. Boo! Boo! <laughs> How is it available? On PC. Just on PC. The other... Oh, right. The other ones did come to console eventually. Even, like, the, the first XCOM even came to iPad. Oh. And it was like this, like 3D, and, and apparently it runs great. It's time to stand up, everybody. It's been an hour. <laughs> everybody, it's time to stand up. Do you do your body do your body right? For the rest of the aliens technology. Come on. We started I started doing I started doing this. I'm stretching, you guys can't see. But Jay and Rich can. I started doing this because like we you know sit here for like four hours without oh, moving sure. and I just feel like garbage afterwards. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, that's great. I'm not sure what central may have. Alright, so what is this promotion everybody is talk tell talking about? What you can promote Oh that uh, like limited time only, like DLC. I thought you were talking about oh, something. No. Like you can get the Mountain Dew DLC oh, and you get a Mountain oh, Dew face mask. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll get around. I'm just looking. I'm just I, this is the first time I've played the game. I'm just looking at what I can do. <laughs> yeah, no. Toki played XCOM on his iPad. I hear great things. I was thinking about doing that to warm up for this game. But then I said, fuck it, because we were playing Dragon's Dogma and liked that. Doing what to him more of again? Uh, to playing XCOM on the iPad. Oh. Because that might have been fun, but then it's like, eh, we were playing def no, a different game, and I wanted to come into this as fresh as possible. You're the old, you're the expert yeah. on XCOM. I Not anymore. <laughs> I want to come in fresh. Um, I'm, I'm embarrassed by that. Uh, that's all right. Horribly embarrassed. Uh, Jesus Christ uh, wants to know, is it possible to turn down the volume on the Oh My Gods? <laughs> I, I think we should do that. You think we should do that? Yeah. Okay. Rich says, okay, uh, it, it will be possible, but not at this moment. We actually need to re-record Rich saying Oh My God at a lesser volume, and uh, we will do that for everyone. It won't happen tonight, but we will do that. Because <laughs> it, it's happening so much tonight. This guy has to be an obnoxious stream to watch. Yeah, maybe. And otherwise, it's a nice, fun J sure. XCOM stream. Yeah. I'm, 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 I, I, I do think. Yeah, we should. You're, you're having regrets. When it's, when it's, <laughs> here, well, you know, yes and no. When it's every, when it's every ten minutes, uh -huh. no big deal. Right. When it's every ten seconds, kind of funny. It's, <laughs> it was funny. It was funny when we first did it, uh -huh. and we thought it would stop happening. Yeah. Then it was funny. Uh, that's true. We did think that tips would uh, not happen as yeah. often as they did. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, and I forgot to say the. Oh, you can download your own. Oh my God, if you want. It's it finally cleared. Hold on, but I'll get to that in one second. Anonymous. Hi guys. I recently caught up on the YouTube prereqs and enjoyed all. I got a question for Rich. In a sentence or two. <coughs> This is really important, Rich. Yeah. A sentence or two, what ruined Mass Effect 3? They know you hate it, but, you know, like, they never got, like, 
a full explanation, but and I know you can there's, go on this for hours. There's no. there's no one or two. Okay. There's no one or two. In general, can you generalize? Everything? I, I know <laughs> I know you really loved the story and the way they ended the story Mass Effect 3 was unsatisfactory for you. Not having a solid plan on where the story was going to go ahead of time, which after playing 3 is patently obvious. Mm -hmm. Because, the, I mean, 3, they just pull the ending out of their ass. Outside of being a horrible ending. Like, the plot device around 3 is just comes out of nowhere and it's stupid. Um, EA Games. Mm -hmm. uh, EA bought Bioware, and the game was rushed out too early. Oh. Is my guess. My speculate. It's my pure speculation. Okay. That that game needed another two years in development mm. than what it got. Okay. Uh, gutting. Uh, all right. We kind of talked about this during the Dragon's Dogma review. Mm -hmm. About how, um, you know, Western RPGs, you, you're in control of your own character oh and the silent. Oh, my God. And the silent protagonist, and yeah. you, you put the words in, and Bioware, with the previous games, and I guess their other games too, took that a step further. Okay. Because in s you, you were in charge of the character, but you could also actually speak. You, like, shows what you wanted your character to say in game, and people would react appropriately. You could be a jerk. Mm -hmm. People would think you were a jerk, you know. Yeah. And it had it had a one of its big things was the branching dialogue yes. options and trees. But you made your own character with their personality. Sure, they were heroic. They were a jerk. You mm. you, you 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 did that. Yeah, they were snarky. They were serious. Mm. Three, cut gut, rip it out, and you're just you're kind of like on the, your your personality is on the rails more a lot more than it is in the other games. Oh, okay. Uh, like you know those dialogue trees. Yeah. Every every few conversations, you'll get like a yes or no option in three. Aww. Blah blah. Aww. So they gutted your ability to be the character. So they they took your character that you made for two games away from you and said, <laughs> "This is our toy. We're gonna play with it the way you should play with it." <laughs> oh, that's very sad. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? That's a good summation. Thank you, Rich. Um, okay, also, I'm putting this into the chat right now. I'm sharing with you guys. We got, we finally got it approved. You can now download your own Rich Evans saying, oh my god. Oh, good. It is a clean version. It's the version we use for this audio of Rich Evans saying, oh my god, I'm about to give you the link in the chat. There it is. There it is. It is uh, from freesounds.org. I, I uploaded. That's where I get a, actually a lot of sound effects that I use for various projects. That's a great site. It's a great site. It's a database full of uh, sound effects that you can use for free. Mm -hmm. um, but there it is. Use as you wish. I hope you enjoy Rich's incredibly loud and shrieky, oh my god, as much as we do. <laughs> I'm so glad we could share this with everyone. Um, well, as much as you all used to enjoy it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finally, uh, Jay Zelly says, Finally, PC gets a game that console does not get first and chat is crying. <laughs> now you know how I feel about Bloodborne. <laughs> <laughs> Final, no, I mean, first of all, there's like a ton of games that are on PC and not on consoles. But this is a big one, obviously. Are there a ton? Yes, there's like, a ton. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Th uh, thinking specifically, like, Crypt of the Necrodancer just came out on consoles. That was on PC <laughs> only for so long. Uh, uh, indie titles, I suppose. Okay. There's a bunch of indie titles. But, uh, I guess for the majors, this is, this is a rare major okay, PC engineer. exclusive for a time. Um, Rich, okay. don't feel bad <sighs> about going down to Veteran. I feel bad about going down to Veteran. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I beat uh, Enemy Within on Impossible Iron Man, and XCOM 2 is kicking my ass on Command. Yeah. So it's like, you know. I think this is a normal thing. I think it's an ass kicker. I think uh, Atomic Click is saying, I think my favorite, oh my god, was. Hold on. Hold on. Please. Oh, sorry. There's a cutscene. 
Ravik gave everything he had to get us this far. Shen is dead. Mm -hmm. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but in here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Alright. Okay. I forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> Oh, they said their favorite, oh my god, was uh, during the, uh, during the, uh, Order 1885 yeah. review for Gunshot Fade to Black. <laughs> oh. Oh, good old Gunshot Fade to Black. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm respecting Rich. Rich likes the cutscenes. This game is important to Rich. I will respect... His uh, his wish for us to you know let him enjoy the cutscenes. Obviously, I don't really care about cutscenes. <laughs> I hit level one. Oh, engineer required. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. I see what's going on here. Oh, and because you because you skipped the tutorial, do you know that? This is a ship. Now we just have to make sure uh, I gathered that. Okay. Looking at the outside of it. Yeah, you're you're on the helicarrier, basically. Okay. So, so you know you no longer are building an underground facility. You are building the shield helicarrier. Back to my question, Jay. Talk about brainstorm or demon seed. Do you know these things? I don't know either of those things. I think I've heard the name Demon Seed. Demon Seed sounds familiar. But I don't know those. We Jay doesn't know those. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm the real sorry. I'm sorry, the real net boy. I'm sorry if I've I've let you down. Jay knows everything about <laughs> movies that you know what? <laughs> oh, I, got, I got like, plenty of I got plenty of blind God. spots. But a movie with the name like Brainstorm or Demon Seed should be right up your alley. Demon Seed sounds familiar, but I don't think I've seen it. <laughs> if, I, if I did, it was a long, long time ago. Sure. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. There's no way that's Bradford. That's what they're saying. There's Bradford. no way that's Bradford. He had a face transplant. Government, communications, industry, not to mention the military, and it's on us to take it all back. Yeah. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Um, I do like to try and fill in the gaps sometimes, though, yeah. of like genres or areas that I'm not familiar with. Mm -hmm. Like uh, last Halloween, I watched a, well, last October, I tried to watch a bunch of Italian Giallo films because I hadn't seen too many of those. Okay. So it's like now I can say that I've seen plenty of those where I understand that genre. <laughs> well, good. So well, I try. Good. I try to fill in my gaps. <laughs> um, uh, recruit more pimps for you uh, would like to know if you have any thoughts on Cloverfield both the old or the new I like Cloverfield I don't. I think it was I didn't buy into like all the hype for it you know sure. there was all the like viral marketing and the shit the mystery behind yeah the yeah. mystery shit and then you see the movie and it's just a, a POV Godzilla movie basically yeah it's just a giant monster attacking the city and I thought it was fine as, as that Okay. Parts of it felt like a like a theme park ride, like when they're in the helicopter and they're like, "Oh no, the helicopter's going down!" <laughs> and you feel like you're on a theme park, like uh, like one ride. of those rides where like the seats move with the camera. Yeah, I was thinking of like the King Kong ride that they used to have at Universal <laughs> Studios. Sure, sure. So I, I I liked it well enough. Okay. Um, I'm curious about the new one. The fact that they made a movie in secret and no one knew it even existed until like a month ago. Uh huh. Well, I, everyone was so distracted. I, I've heard that it's actually like a movie that was already being made, completely unrelated, and then like later they decided to make it related to Cloverfield. Oh, I don't know if that's true, but I don't know. It got John Goodman in it, and it takes place in some sort of underground bunker, so it looks claustrophobic. That sounds great. It looks like a decent movie. Cool. 
Cool. My analysis reveals that it's um, Recruit More Prim says uh, Cloverfield was their favorite movie for a while until they saw Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver is one of my mm -hmm. favorite movies. Taxi Driver is Taxi Driver is a great film. Very different. <laughs> a little bit different than Cloverfield. <laughs> they do both take place in New York, though. That, oh, there you go. Well, okay. they're basically the same film. <laughs> they're basically the same movie because they take place in New York. They're in the same universe. There's a, there's a shared universe. <laughs> between the Cloverfield, Cloverfield Cinematic Universe with <laughs> Travis Bickle. <laughs> El, an elderly Travis Bickle got stepped on. <laughs> he, did, he actually didn't die at the end of tra Taxi Driver. He didn't die at the end of Taxi Driver. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen I that. mean, well, technically the last scene is up to interpretation, sure. but... Sp I guess spoiler alert for... Ta Listen, that's beyond... Spoiler spoilers. alert. He may or may not die. He may or may not die. Oh, I fucking love Taxi Driver. Yeah, Taxi Driver is great. You see that girl? You see that girl up there? She's a whore. <laughs> She's a whore, and I know she's a whore. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't quote too much of that scene. <laughs> we'll get into some trouble. We'll get banned, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Taxi Driver is one of those w rare, like... You know, the, I, I I don't necessarily – I don't often like older movies because the pacing is usually something that I can't get down with. You know me, I'm, I'm a little uh, hyperactive and sure. I like my movies to be fast, but Taxi Driver just hits that right stride where it's just slow enough. Well, it's just hypnotic. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, you're, you're with him, that whole movie. Yeah. You're just in his mind. It's great. It's great. I got to see a uh, – 4K digital projection of it a couple years ago at okay. playing in theaters. And it looked great. Mm -hmm. I think that might have been my first like 4K digital theatrical experience. Uh -huh. And it, it looked really good. Like, okay. It still looked like, like, I mean, it was obviously shot in the 70s, so it had a lot of grain to it anyway. So, yeah, even a digital print looked good. Nice. Tiny Turnip says the ta Tax Driver was the first Scorsese film I saw. Yeah, no, that's a good, that's a good one to start with. It might have been mine, too. Probably. I'm trying to think of that. Or, uh, you know, I think I probably saw parts of Goodfellas, like on cable. Sure. When I was little, little, like way before I saw Taxi Driver. Okay. But I didn't know what it was at the time. Oh my god! Oh my god, indeed. Uh, Hemi1137 says, based on your complaints about Dragon's Dogma, you'd really like Dragon Age Origins. It's generic fantasy, but with great characters and story. Wait. Are we still streaming? Also, it has elves. Whoops, OBS crashed. Are oh. we still streaming? Oh my god! I'm gonna say yes. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let me ask the chat. <laughs> but I mean, you know. Hold on. Are we still streaming? Webcam froze. Oh, the web. Oh, yeah. Look, the game is still uh, working, but we're not. Oh, that's weird. But just the just the video, they can still hear us. Huh? Isn't that weird? That is a little weird. Things are weird. Meow, meow, meow. Your face are frozen. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do without starting and stopping the stream. Can you hear us? Hold on. Well, you're trying to click on a thing, but you got to get rid of that error window first. Would you well, like that'll probably close the whole program, though. Well, it says, would you like to view a crash report? I'll say no. Wait, I can't hear or see you, but I'm blind to death. Th thank you. That's <laughs> very funny. Tear both eyes out. <laughs> can't. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, well, 